Hello YouTubers, welcome to Island Girl Garden. Today we're just gonna show you how we uh, fertilize our corn. We have a little bi, a little bi, uh, bi color corn and some early golden blenheim corn. So normally what we do, we're just gonna uh, make a little, little trick in between each, each row of corn and put a little fertilizer down in there. Because the, the corn roots, they like, they like spread out. So we put them in the middle of the row. And then that's where the corn get most of their nutrition from the fertilizer. They got a little fertilizer, they got some trace minerals you can put in there. They haven't tried this before, but so we're gonna try it. It's all natural trace minerals. You can try this, put that little bit in there and see how it goes. This will be like a little short video. And uh, yeah, we can get this started. Maybe if they know corn is really grass. Corn is really from the grass family. I just found that out. So, you know, we still learning. Now, I'm just trying to put a little trench in between them, between the corn plants. I just put this one in. It was like left over. So I figured I was going to throw it in the ground. It seemed like nobody was going to buy it. And here's the plants for sale. And then nobody buy it. So I just went on and threw it in the ground. So maybe this year we have a nice big harvest of corn, like, hopefully. And they got tomatoes growing here. I don't know where the tomatoes come from. They just popping up everywhere. They put no tomato seeds out here. But they seem to want to come up in the corn, in the peppers, everywhere. In the yard. <laughs> like they're going wild. We got some mushrooms in here too. When you got mushrooms in your soil, that means you got some good soil. I don't know if you can eat them or not. They're dead. They, they, guess they get enough, enough water, but that's usually a sign of good soil. You got mushrooms growing in your soil. So we can just put the trench all the way down. Yeah. So we can get it down in the ground a little bit. Still putting it on top of the soil. It seems that's been doing it for corn. I don't know why. I ain't never seen nobody do it for anything else but corn. So maybe we get a big harvest of corn this year. I had a little bit last year. The island girl, she let the deer eat it up. I don't know why she let the deer eat it up. She wouldn't cover it up. I told her to cover it up. But you know how it is, hard-headed. Blame it on me. Let me spread this out a little bit. Just a little bit of fertilizer. And look at this trace mineral. Look at them big old yellow cones. Maybe Corona will be gone by the summer. I can have a little cookout and grill, grill some corn on the grill. Have a little cookout. Now right, let's cut it back up. Let it work with magic. Later on, we're going to put some net and those blueberries over there. Cover up my blueberry with some nets so the bird won't eat them all up. So that's about it. We're going let to the, let the rain water a little bit. So I watered yesterday. It was rain yesterday too, so we got a little rain. So, thanks for watching this little quick video, and 
Like and subscribe to Island, Island Girl Garden. Till next time. Peace.